The natural log of secant x is a composite function. It's secant inside the log function. So to take its derivative, we have to use the chain rule, which I've written here for your reference. f prime of g times g prime. f is the outside function, g is the inside function. In our case, f, the outside function, is this natural log. And the inside function, which we call g, is secant x. So let's go ahead and jot that down. Now that we know what the outside and inside functions are in this example, we can go ahead and apply the chain rule. So the derivative of the natural log of secant of x, well, that will begin with f prime of g. The derivative of the outside function, natural log, is just 1 over the input. Remember, we don't want to change the input, we want to leave that g the same. So 1 over the input, 1 over secant x. But then we need to multiply by g prime, the derivative of that inside function. The inside function, g, is secant x, and the derivative of secant x is secant x tangent to x, so we multiply by that. Then, of course, there's some nice simplification. 1 over secant x times secant x, those cancel out. And so we're left, as our final answer, with just tangent of x. The derivative of the natural log of secant x is tangent x. Let me know in the comments if you have any questions, and be sure to check out my Calculus 1 course and Calculus 1 exercises playlists for a whole lot more practice. Thanks for watching.